Hi everyone. We are gonna carry on grade 11 physics, past paper questions. So in lesson one, we have done with you question one, multiple choice questions. And then question two, we have done in our video one. First lesson, we have done question one and two. And second lesson from this past paper, we finish question three about electro, ele electrostatics. First one, it was about mechanics first lesson, and then second one was about electrostatics. This question we have done with you. You can go to lesson two to see answers for these questions. And then when you come to this lesson, we are gonna start question four. And we are finishing this paper today. It was short paper, it was not a long one. And then from next lesson, we are gonna start long one. So 10 multiple choice questions we are gonna have and then Maybe in one lesson, we can finish only question one. Every lesson will try to finish one question with you. So today we are finishing our first paper. So question four, electric circuit question, 10 marks question. You will see it is easy one. Today will not take time. We will try to finish in 10 minutes. So we have an electric, an electric circuit question, easy question. Let's start. So what we are gonna say action time and then what we are reminding you please go to link and get question paper get question four and then try first try to get your answers and then you can check and you can mark your answers you can correct your answers all right let's start question 4.1 reading on v2 okay let's see what they are asking in the circuit diagram below the reading on voltmeter one, V1 is equal to 12 volts. All right. This is easy one, just like a grade 10 topics, grade 10 questions, because there's no internal resistance, nothing. So it is easy one. So it is our main voltage, 12 volts. All right. And then main current also given. Okay, that's good. It looks easy. And then what else given? All resistors given six ohms we have, as you see, we have six ohms. What else we have? Let's continue. We have six ohms, three ohms and four ohms. All right, that's good. Too many things given. Okay, for electric circuits, what we are using people, do you remember? Our friends, I hope you remember that. Ohm's law we are using. What was the Ohm's law? Not definition, just formula. V is equal to current times resistance. If you are looking for current, current is equal to voltage over resistance. If you are looking for resistance, resistance equals voltage over current. And then let's remember units for each. Unit of voltage, what was it? Volt and unit of current is ampere. And unit of resistance, what was it? Ohms. So we have, as you can use this symbol also for ohms. And then, okay, all units done. Okay, but now we can go to a question and we can answer what we said. If you want to answer questions well, please read first. Try to understand what they're asking, what is given. If you want, you can make a list also what is given. Okay, please work on it first. All right, just see what we have, what can we do, and then go to question. All right, just work on your circuits. Just try to understand question, and then you can answer all questions. Okay, now we can answer our question. Let's see, reading on V2. Okay, let's see what is given here. Total voltage is 12 volts, all right. Current is given, all right. We are looking for V2, okay. So how can we get V2? Ohm's law, we are looking for voltage. So if you are looking for voltage, you are using voltage equals current times resistance. So we know resistance, okay. What about current? Current is not given, but what we know it is here, it is given. As you see people, as you see my friends, 2A on main conductor, 2A on main conductor is coming here. And then when you come to this point, 
six ohms and three ohms, they are sharing voltage. Sorry, they are, they are sharing current. They are sharing current, they have same voltage. We should remember that. I will explain next question, we're gonna use it. So they are sharing current to A, how many A each we should calculate for now, just say that they are sharing. And then when you come to this point, they combine, all right. So when they come to this point, still you have two A. I hope it is okay. You have two A for current. And then when you come to this point, you have two A. Now you have current, you have resistance. It is easy to calculate voltage V2. So let's say V2 equals current is two, resistance is four, two times four is equal to eight volts. I hope it's okay. So we are using Ohm's law. What we have to know, if you are on main conductor, you have same current as you see just coming here and then you have same current. I hope it is okay. Question 4.1, done. If your answer is eight volts, if you write formula, you have three marks already out of 10, you have three marks already. All right, let's continue with the next question. So let's see what they ask now. Same circuit, all right. Reading on A2. Okay, now a meter. So you know already, but let's just remind you, let's remember, what meter measures voltage, as you see 12 volts, and a meter measures current, as you see 2A for A1. And we are looking for, Reading on a meter two. All right, reading on a meter two, how many A we are looking for? So for this question, we have two steps. We are gonna use two steps because first of all, we have to calculate voltage on parallel combination. Voltage on parallel combination because, let's write our formula first. We are looking for current on A2, right? We are looking for current on A2, let's say, current equals voltage over resistance. So this is our formula. And then, but you know resistance, six ohms, it's okay, but we don't know voltage. How can we get voltage? Step one, let's say V parallel, V parallel equals, let's say V parallel is equal to, V1 minus V2. We are using this first step to calculate V parallel voltage. If you put a voltmeter here, let's say V parallel, or you can say V, it's fine. So V parallel is equal to V1 minus V2. Total voltage minus voltage on four ohms. And then 12 minus what we have, how many? We calculate in question 4.1, it was eight volts, right? We calculate already, it is eight volts. 12 minus eight is equal to four volts. This is our step one for this question. From now, we are using Ohm's law, this formula, current equals, current equals voltage over resistance. We are looking for which current? Current two, I2. And then we can say I V parallel, and then resistance for six ohms, ugly symbol. Huh? Okay, let's say V parallel is equal to four over six, and then you are getting 0, 0,67 A. This is our answer. I hope everything is fine. Question 4.2, also done. So during exam, you don't have to, you know, just waste your time. You can just write, formula solution and quickly you can do it, but just to understand just for you, I'm just going step by step. But during the exam, please remember, we have to write formula. You will have formula box, and then from formula box, you can just write it down. And then all solution, all working out, we should show. And finally, correct answer, it's supposed to be with unit. If you forget this unit or this unit, you are gonna lose your mark, especially final unit. Final unit is very important. If you don't write final unit, you are gonna lose your one mark out of 10, maybe you'll get nine. So this question, four marks, 
we have done. I hope your answer also correct. Let's continue with next question, last question for today. So we are finishing week today when we are finishing this paper. So next lesson from video lesson, just our lesson four, we are gonna carry on with new past paper, multiple choice questions, 10 multiple choice questions we are gonna answer with you. All right, what they ask now? Asking charge on A1, charge going on A1 in 120 seconds. So we are looking for charge. So charge formula, you know charge formula is a Q, symbol is Q, unit is coulombs, you know that. Charge equals, coulomb equals current times time. So this is our formula, charge equals current times time. Current already given because we are looking for A1, A1 current is two, so charge equals two times, time is given here in second. If you see another unit, you must convert it. But now in second, two times 120. And our answer is 240 coulombs. So this is our charge for this paper. We have done our last question. We are just finished, we are finishing today. See you next lesson. I hope everything is fine. I hope you got 10 marks out of 10. Have a nice day, everyone. See you next lesson. Let's clear all and then see you next lesson.